a new dawn, a new day, a new city. And it's lovely. It is a bit noisy due to my location. And I'm still very central. But I did it. I made the thousand mile journey. I'm here. I've arrived. And I've conquered my fears. Once again. My grandparents will be proud. I've started to put things where they belong. I never knew my dogs had so much. And there's still more to be unpacked in such a little space. But we'll make it work. I also brought my horse riding gear. You know, just in case I stumble upon the stables nearby. And they have lovely horses waiting to be ridden. The locals say no such place exists. But I live in hope. My plant, my precious plant, almost did make the journey. It's so wilted, and I'm hoping it will recover. I don't know how, but I'm going to have to say a little prayer for it. I've travelled with no less than 20 notepads and organisers. 20. Am I a hoarder? Or do I need to just always have notepads and pens to hand? Do I have some sort of undiagnosed condition? I've always had to have pens papers, notepads scattered all over the house. Some households have throw cushions. I have notepads. They've always cluttered up the place. And because I'm trying to be more organised, there you go, more paperwork. Thoughts of all my jewellery and knickknacks went to the very last minute. But most important of all, the most crucial thing, the only thing bothering me right now, it's how I'm going to organise all my books, writing materials, pens, ink wells. This time around, I brought several pens, ink bottles. I don't know why, it makes no sense. I'm one of those people who likes to carry lots of books. Now unfortunately, I couldn't bring with me my normal paperbacks because they're too big and too heavy. So I ended up lugging around a lot of my antique books. I really don't mind reading some of them again, and they are pretty to look at, and I'm hoping, somehow, I can get inspiration from them. I've always had a strange affinity for pens. I get very fussy about them, how quickly the ink flows, how small the nib is, and then ink colour. Ink colour is extremely important, I can't use any ink other than black. I don't type directly onto my laptop. That would be way too straightforward. No, I prefer to write onto paper and then I type onto my laptop. So for me, writing with a pen and paper is where the magic really happens and all the inspiration comes from. A nice little writing nook has always been important no matter where I am. Whether I'm camper vanning, in a little studio or in a large house. I've always needed a small space. The first order of business for me is always to create a little writing nook, no matter where I am. Somewhere I can put my books, pens, papers, all tucked together and hidden away in a nice little corner. It never matters how large the house is, I always have a nook that's tucked away. As a child, one of my nooks was in a large cupboard, and I'd crawl in book in hand, pen and paper in hand, and spend hours there. Sometimes the household would be thrown into a panic. They always thought I'd run away. But then, after several hours of silence, which was unusual for a child, I'd emerge. I could never understand what they were so angry about. <laughs>